Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and I'm going to show you the new bracketing features in Dorico Pro 2.2, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. Dorico has always included options for setting the bracketing approach for your ensembles. Dorico Pro 2.2 adds new tools to engrave mode, allowing you to override or supplement those options with specific brackets, sub-brackets, and braces, and also to specify the bar line joins for your ensemble. In order to accommodate the growing number of controls found in the Engrave Tools panel, there is now a toolbox that works in a similar fashion to other panels across Dorico. Broadly speaking, the same tools are available. But now, rather than having to enable and disable these special editing tools, you simply click the button to switch to that tool. The graphical editing tool is at the top, then frame editing, staff spacing, and finally note spacing. The two spacing tools don't have additional controls, and so the panel is automatically hidden when either of them is selected. The new bracketing and bar line tools are found in graphical editing. In order to create a new bracket or bar line change, make a selection of the staves you wish to group together. This will enable the buttons in the panel, allowing you to click one and apply that bracketing style. Available are brackets, sub brackets, sub sub brackets, braces, and bar line joins. You can also select brackets, braces, and bar lines in the score and delete them if required. You can select the new handles on brackets and drag up and down with the mouse. Or with a bracket or bar line handle selected, hold down Alt and use the up and down arrow keys to position them across more or fewer staves. Whenever you edit brackets, braces, or bar line joins, a new bracket and bar line change event is created and displayed as a signpost. The change to the bracketing and bar lines is applied at the beginning of the selected system, regardless of whereabouts on the system you physically made the edit. And it persists from that point onwards throughout the layout. You can have as many bracket and bar line changes as you desire, so I can make a change on the next system if that's what I need. Bracket and bar line changes only apply to the selected layout. So I don't get in a muddle. I find it easiest to make changes to brackets and bar lines starting at the beginning of the layout and working systematically through any other required changes in order. Also, I think it's easiest if I know all staves are visible while I'm making these edits. So I open layout options using the key command Control Shift L. That's Command Shift L on Mac. Check I have the correct layout selected on the right select vertical spacing from the list on the left, and now I can click the new quick link to jump straight to hide empty staves and check that the option is set to never. I'll then make any necessary changes to brackets and bar lines before I re-enable hide empty staves. The new bracketing options can be very useful when setting up complex divisi groups that previously would have been bracketed together, meaning you can make better distinction between, say, soloists and gliultry sections. All the existing engraving options still apply, so I suggest you still set your initial approach there first, and then make changes to your specific ensemble as required. All the design options will also apply to your edited brackets and bar lines. If you want to remove a bracket and bar line change, simply select the signpost and press delete. If you have changed bracketing and bar line joins on the same system and want to delete just one of those changes, select the signpost, then open the properties panel and disable either change bracketing or change bar lines. You can also make a selection at any point in the score, open the engrave menu and choose reset bracketing which will revert the brackets and bar line joins to the default set in engraving options starting at the next system. If you found this tutorial helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons below so we can let you know about more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.